Oh, hey. Cool title. Thanks. I'm kind of a big deal. How did you get it? How did I achieve this title? That is a tale of great adventure. Wow. Please tell me. That is a tale of great adventure. Of mighty beasts, fire-breathing dragons, and feats of strength and bravery that would make the immortals themselves shake to their core. Nah, mate. You're just growing dolmens over and over. Is that guy right? That sounds really easy. Jesus, what a poser. There is no music. You realize you are simply dancing to my misery. Yep. Oh, my bunions. In every MMO, there's those that want to stand out, to be the best. And most of all, have something as a reminder of all their hard work and dedication. In this video, I'll be covering some of the most challenging and sought-after titles in ESO, and how you can obtain them. I'm Mitch Mannix, and this is Titles to Impress. This video is going to be split into multiple sections, covering PvP, PvE, and crafting and professions. As well as an additional section of easy to obtain titles that sound badass, so those just starting can grab something cool at the beginning of the journey. Kind of fake it till you make it. Timestamps will be in the description. To start, we'll cover some PvP titles for Cyrodiil and Battlegrounds. For Cyrodiil, we have Emperor, a title for the dedicated. To obtain this one, you do need to be the top PvPer for that campaign for your faction, as well as winning the campaign. So collect those keeps, grab that Emperor title. Also bear in mind that once that campaign is over, this title will revert to former Emperor. Nonetheless, it's still a pretty sought after bad boy. Next up we have Grand Overlord, which is the highest PvP rank obtained. That is going to take you over 60 million AP to collect, so it's going to take a little while to say the least. But nonetheless, another sought after bad boy. Moving over to the Arena PvP titles, we have Battleground Butcher starting us off, which is when team deathmatch with 500 points before any other team reaches 200. Essentially a total domination of a Battleground match with a cool title to boot. Next up we have Paragon, finish a team deathmatch battle with at least 8 more kills than deaths. If anyone wants to play Call of Duty, they know about, all about that whole KD grind, so this one is just absolute domination once again, a little bit more solo base will get you Paragon. Quadruple kill is exactly how it sounds. So on your first quadruple kill medal, defeating four opponents in team deathmatch battle each within 10 seconds of the next, we get you the Merciless in Arena. Beautiful. Next up we have Chaos Champion and Chaos Guard, both for assists during the Chaos Ball game mode. Very sought after, very difficult and nice addition. Next up we have Pit Hero and Grand Champion, two accumulative titles, one for a thousand kills and one for 250 thousand total points in battlegrounds not necessarily the biggest indicator of skill but more of a nod that you're by no means a newbie when it comes to arenas moving over to pve we're going to start with the solo arenas starting with everyone's favorite the maelstrom arena the first title here is going to be Stormproof, which is from the maelstrom arena conqueror achievement which consists of beating the maelstrom arena on the veteran mode also on this run providing you a polymorph for one of the maelstrom baron blokes nice Another one to look out for in Maelstrom Arena is the achievement Maelstrom Arena Perfect Run. Complete the veteran Maelstrom Arena in a single attempt without dying or leaving the arena will grant you the Flawless Conqueror title. This one still holds a fair amount of respect today, but hey, if you've got to deal with the lag and the RNG of the Maelstrom Arena, I'm not surprised. Moving over to Velstrom Hollows, the other solo arena added in Greymore, we have Velstrom Hollows Conqueror, which just like the Maelstrom variant is finishing the entire arena in the veteran mode, will grant you the Spirit Blood Champion title. Following that for Velstrom, we have the Velstrom's Chosen. Complete the veteran Velstrom Hollows within 45 minutes without using a single sigil and without dying. The timer starts when entering any wing for the first time. So this one is essentially speedrun, hard mode, no death. Moving over to the trial content, we're going to be starting with Asylum Sanctorium with one of the meta achievements. Very quickly, for those that don't know, meta achievements are essentially a single achievement comprised of completing various others. 
So for this one, we have Asylum Sanctorium Redeemer, which will grant you the title Immortal Redeemer. Also for Asylum Sanctorium, we have Perfect Purification, which is essentially a speedrun, hard mode, no death, will grant you the Saintly Savior title. Next up, we have three titles that are quite possibly the hardest titles to obtain in the game when it comes to the PvE side of things. Starting us off, we have the Path of Alaxon. The hard mode speedrun no death for Cloudrest, granting you the Griffin Heart title. Like Clockwork, the hard mode speedrun no death for the Halls of Fabrication, granting you the illustrious TikTok Tormentor. And the God Slayer of Sunspire, the hard mode speedrun no death for Sunspire, giving you that awesome God Slayer title. Rounding off the PvE side of things, we have two titles that actually reward mounts. That's right, ESO actually giving you a mount for doing something in-game. We are starting off with Sunspire Dragon Break. The meta achievement, including that God Slayer achievement, will land you the Sunspire Champion Senshi Lion mount, as well as the sick Hand of Alkosh title. Coupled with that, we have the brand new Rock Grove Zalvaka's Bane meta achievement. Completing that will also get you the Sun Zal Flesh Ripper mount, as well as the Daedric Bane title. Migrating over to the crafting and profession side of things. Now there are hundreds of titles here, but this video is really about the ones that are going to turn heads. So we're going to go with Grand Master Crafter. This one is going to take you a serious amount of time investment, but for your work, you will land the Grand Master Crafter title as well as the Skyforge Smith Hammer outfit. To couple with that, we have the Master Fisher achievement, granting the Master Angler title. Again, this one is only for the dedicated. This will be a serious time investment but you will have a nice rare title to show off to everyone once it's all done. With the big guns out of the way, like I said at the top of the video, I just wanted to round out the video with a few easy to obtain titles, potentially for new players that sound really cool that you can grab now and you can just crack on with your journey with. So to start us off, we've got General Executioner, which is destroying all Molog Balls, generals that appear in the Dark Anchors. That's just dolmens, jump in a group, go to Arcade Desert, blam, bam, 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 just smash out those dolmens. Not only will you get the Daedric Lord Slayer title, a nice die, but if you do 250 of them, you'll also get the the enemy of cold harbor title and another die to boot so leveling title is a win-win another couple nice titles to pick up while questing would be the arch mage essentially completing the mages guild questline will give you master wizard title as well as the fighters guild variant the same thing over at the fighters guild will grant you the fighters guild victor title Another couple I wanted to throw in to round out this section is the Kingmaker achievement. Completing the Rothgar main quest will land you the Kingmaker title, a nice one there, and a cut purse above. Still, every treasure from the Kreese hit list and place them all within the Thieves' Den will grant you the nice, tasty Master Thief title. So that's my list of some of the most sought-after titles in ESO, as well as some easier, badass-sounding ones to get you started. Which title are you most proud of? Stick it in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one.